morning everybody. This video is about how to have divine shitloads of peace. So, so many of us are not peaceful in life. We're stressed and unhappy. Let's be honest and let's face it. People are often miserable, stressed and confused, unclear, heavy. Their auras are grey, even on a sunny day. And especially people's auras are grey on overcast, cloudy, rainy days. Once I was walking in one of these over early cast rainy days and this woman came over to me like really surprised and sort of asked me questions about how it could help her life because she said I got like the purest, brightest aura that she'd seen in months in Ireland, three months. She's from Australia with her son and she can see auras generally all the time with people everywhere on the streets and everything. She said it was, it was white, it's like beautiful like a saint. Okay, she didn't say it was like a saint but she said like very like... <laughs> like Jesus or something yeah she did say that so by any means I'm not saying I'm perfect by any means I am perfect I am perfect you're perfect we're all perfect but obviously we're all learning growing expanding being challenged and life is interesting so how to have peace how to have peace like a tree do you want to have peace like a tree how to have a lasting peace is first of all to have to let go of the last moment. You need to get closure on your life. So if something bugged you a minute ago, you'd never avoid or suppress your emotions, but you do choose to let go, like dropping a weight. How, how hard is it to hold on to like a five kg dumbbell? How easy and good is it once you realize, okay, I'm gonna let go of that. You let go of the five kg, you feel relief and you're able to relax because it's not heavy anymore. So. If something happened to you a moment ago, something that you're like kind of like stewing on and like giving energy to, to find peace, you let go, you move on, you get closure into the next moment. You're free again, you're fresh. Here it is, here again. Life is new, life is here again. It's it's fresh, it's bright, and it's friendly. You can go forward again in life. And that could apply if you had an argument with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your your mum, your dad, your son, your daughter, or your workmate, anyone, your boss, whoever it is. Secondly, you get closure on your life gone by. Life is a meant to be interesting. I've heard from channeled beings that we chose to come here because, wait for it, why? Because it was interesting. It looked interesting to come here and definitely it's interesting. At this time on the earth, it's like super interesting. I love life. It's like, it's full of goodies. It's, it's supposed to be challenging. We're supposed to be challenged. Life is supposed to give us little knickknacks that go wrong all the time or regularly enough. <laughs> it's, it's, it's exciting. Like we're always like unraveling a puzzle. Like we're playing a game and we're able to solve it, but it just takes a little bit of effort. And if you have a mind frame, you're like pissed off with like bad stuff happening and you're calling it bad, bad, bad. But I like to speak like a child and I sometimes say good, bad, even though it isn't essentially good or bad. If anything, it's essentially good. So these good, annoying things are happening because we're, we're like babies who are stubborn children unwanting to grow up. That's why. So if we accept the gift of life and we accept that in this time-space reality, we are going to miss, lose our car keys, get a burst tire, miss our flights, all sorts of stuff. You just gotta roll with the punches. You gotta learn defensive boxing techniques, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> so, so that's all I really gotta say. So you have to get closure on your past as well, okay? And that means knowing things happened for a reason. They weren't a mistake. Things did not go wrong whatsoever. I've been through shitloads of misery and upset and heartbreak and trauma and suffering and depression, anxiety, loss, loneliness, fear, apprehension, anxiety, insecurity, loads of insecurity too, not wanting to live anymore, being out of the game of life, being sick, being crippled, disabled, not able to walk much, not able to carry much, not able to do my shopping properly, not able to walk up a hill, not able to run zero, not able to cycle for many years as well. But you know what? You just gotta learn and you gotta man up, woman up. <laughs> you gotta let go and you gotta see the reason things happen. Like what happened to me in life was these losses, these huge heartbreaking things happened to me, but they cracked me open. We're like a shell. There's a book by somebody called 
broken open. These events deepen us as a person. They crack our hardened egoic. If you want to use that word, I like the word ego, but it doesn't really mean anything bad to me whatsoever. <laughs> the ego is more like our false identity and our limiting false beliefs, our false concept we have of ourselves of who we think we are, but we're not really that limited basic being. You know, we're much more than a man or a woman or an adult or a child. We're much more than the physical that we see. We're energetic, divine beings, spirits that come here and we're alive in other dimensions and other places at the same time. In many, there are many houses in my chapel, in my mansion. <laughs> so, if you want to have peace, another thing, you, you, so you let go of your past, see your past favorably, get closure on your past, and then if there's something you don't like from your past, take empowered, inspired action now. Consistent, persistent, empowered, inspired action. See your vision work towards the future you work towards the future now so it goes along with the teachings of living in the now the power of now by Eckhart Tolle feeling excitement now because you're thinking with the future now is great you feel excitement now you have a vision for the, the, the upcoming now we call the future and that's wonderful so planning your future and being excited about the future and following your passions your passions and your desires your true heartfelt desires when you follow these, you get excited and you love it. Life is so much more exciting and interesting. You're doing inspired stuff you actually enjoy. Work becomes more like play or at least not even properly like proper hard work or or like it can be maybe hard or energy and attention, but it's not like it's not really work. It's like inspired action. It's like cultivating your future. It's like stuff that is meaningful to you. This brings me on to the third point. So get closure with people now too, you can make up, just before I get to the third point, you can make up with people, you can send a note, a letter, a message, an email, say something nice or kind, or at least in your heart you can let go and forgive, love, send best wishes and have peace towards people who may have been playing that role of, of either a victim f for you to perpetrate upon or a perpetrator for you to be a victim on. Let go of the past, let go, let go, let go, let go, accept, let go, and then go forward. So now the third point is find fulfillment, passion, and purpose in your life. Do what's really, what you really like, not what your mum or your dad told you to do, what they told you to study, and, and you have to be a lawyer, you've got to be a doctor, you've got to do this because your dad did that, or the last ten dads in your family did that. Forget about that silly stuff, that, like, that, that controlling. Don't do you be you be like a stubborn child, an awakened, empowered, enlightened stubborn child. Be selfish in the in the in the in the amazing way selfishness can be. As in, look after yourself. You don't go around telling your mum or your dad or your brother or your sister or what to do, or your son or your daughter in life in the big big things in life. You don't control people like they're slaves. You don't command or tell people what to do as if they're subordinate to you. That's disrespectful. What you do is, you tell them, you live your life, I'm going to live my life. I love this and I'm going to do that. So even if you have qualifications and you have a job you hate, quit it. Quit it or as much as quickly as you can, as easily, as best as you can, or in the right time, as, as comfortable, best to you, whatever you feel is best. And follow your passion. Start a new career, a new job, or follow, do the art, do the drawing, do the dancing, do the hill walking. Join a group, meetup.com is very good. Do things you love and you like. Go out in nature more, do yoga, stretching, get up earlier, climb a tree, hug a tree, kiss a tree. Whatever the case may be. And then you get happy in life. Make your happiness and be selfish. Do that number one, number one thing in life. So this video could be called how to raise your vibration. How to stop lowering your vibration. How, to, how do you raise your vibration? Stop lowering it. By thinking nonsense, limiting false beliefs and crap like a whole lot of limiting false stuff not true when you believe stuff that's not true you're going to get miserable <laughs> when you think stuff that is not true to you at the deepest heart level of who you truly are like i hate them they're horrible people i'm going to kill them and that's not in alignment with who you truly are so you get the emotion knocking on your door you feel like shit because you're thinking all this stuff repetitively that feels like that's just like not true to you. It's like going to the work that you, that you hate every day. You're going to feel like crap. So if you keep thinking the thoughts every day, that's not you.
as in you are a being of love and light and when you keep focusing on things when you feel and think towards people or life in a way that's not true or of love and light gratitude appreciation respect integrity honor care all these things make you feel good kindness makes you feel good but when you do the opposite you're like you're doing the proverbial going to work in the job you hate every day and you're going to feel like miserable so <sighs> peace it's found by letting go of the last moment or the past getting closure in the last second or two or the past opening your heart closure on the past with the people and the events in your life so you're moving on fresh now in the moment canvas the canvas is open for you to paint on your future get excited follow your number three follow your passions excitements and true joy what's honest to you live your truth forget about what other people say or want you to do be be stubborn don't sacrifice yourself don't prostitute yourself don't be a people's pleaser and give in to the proper serious stuff in life yeah sure you might make decide to make a cup of tea for someone when you're retired but that's not like prostituting or sacrificing yourself if it's a loved one and they're kind to you in life and you know let's give a little bit of give and take a little bit of flexibility but if you're serious stuff you're continually not able to say no and you're doing stuff that's betraying yourself you're gonna be not peaceful and happy you'll be discontent do the opposite and you'll be content okay peace is found with true knowledge as well so number four will be get educated about body mind spirit emotions keep watching these type of videos see the truth the light of the world the light of the true information don't get bogged down with all the media, the false programming, the lies, the deceit, the control, the fear, the separation, the manipulation. Amma once said, unity is peace. Yes, unity is peace, because like, togetherness is peace, familyhood is peace, Lo mutual love is peace. If you have separation in your heart, you're hating that person, you're hating this person, you don't like them, you're criticizing them, condemning and judging them, you're not going to have proper peace. Don't forget, you can disagree or not like something that someone else does. That doesn't mean you don't have to be de-united from them. So if you're united from them, you'll have peace. If you're not united with them, you'll have peace. Even if it means you, you say, hey, listen, I don't, I don't like what you're doing. Could you do this, please? It's much better this way, you know, less destruction, more harmony. <laughs> so that's how you have peace. You let go of something... You let go of what's preoccupying your attention a moment ago you didn't like. So you let go of the unhappy preoccupation and stuff you don't like. Except for when you're actually solving it and then that feels good because you're, 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 you're brainstorming, you're light bulb flashing, you're getting inspired and seeing a vision, you're manifesting your future now. And that's fun and exciting. Manifestation is exciting. You're a divine creator. You're a human embodied spiritual divine creator. And that is awesome. So get creating in your life no hold barred no excuses where there's will there's a way get creative get imaginative get inventive use your mind think imagine visualize think outside the box imagine what what could be imagine what you want to think about it focus on it pour your energy into it and take persistent consistent inspired regular consistent persistent action repetitively and you will manifest your dreams what well, as Bashar the channel says who's an amazing one of my favorite channels ever if you're truly excited about something you will manifest that in your life and that so where energy goes where attention goes energy flows so if you're truly passionate about something you'll probably manifest pretty quickly unless you have a lot of resistance towards it and there's a block there but let go of resistance put passion and energy into something it'll manifest care for what you ask for be ready prepare yourself purify yourself let go and raise your vibration then good things will happen and life will be better so this is how you have peace in life and uh, that dog has peace because it's like the stubborn child following its whim, being self. It, it doesn't want to go over there if somebody calls it. It'll do what it wants to do. It'll sniff the grass, sniff the poop, pee on the grass. It won't do what you want it to do. It'll do what it wants to do. This way my partner Sally is, but you have to balance it with thoughtfulness, care and consideration for others too. That's the other end of the yin-yang spectrum. It's doing what you want to do, being sort of positively good, self oriented in a positive way. And then the opposite is um, the opposite, like um, shadow or negative aspect of that, the yin yang polarity, the relativity is to not give a crap about others and to be selfish. So you want to 
balance it up in the upper half. Like look at the animal and the children, like that's what Jesus said and he was wise saying that. They they do they don't they just ignore you if they don't want to look at you. Now we don't have to be that abrupt. We don't have to be that specific of literally ignoring people if we're not interested. But we can limit our attention to stuff we don't like. We don't have to like appear rude according to the society standards. Even though sometimes we may appear rude, like Sally can appear rude. A lot of introverts have a rap of being antisocial or even rude. <laughs> But introverts are just not the same as... They say maybe 30% of the population are introverts and 70% are extroverts. Extroverts like people and engagement, socialising. Introverts like their own space. They're more concerned with emotions, their emotions, their feelings, their thoughts, what's going on within them. Extroverts are more interested in their environment. What's happening, energy, yang. Extroverts are more like the yang, the motion, the, the activity, the movement. Uh, introverts are more like yin, uh, restorative, uh, relaxing. Um, Calming, um, recuperative. <laughs> I hope this video brings you peace, my friends. Take care, love your life, no excuses, and get active creating the life that you want, that you love. Take care and lots of love to you. Owen Fox here, signing out. Take a look at my links below the videos for more information, coaching, herbs to empower your life. For me and my partner Sally and other awesome stuff too. Till next time.